Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video we're going to continue on and make modifications to our title block, specifically the sheets or the, the text sizes. We talked a little bit about uh, the text, uh, the difference between text and labels, labels being parametric. Uh, by the way, that's a test question. Be able to identify what text is and what a label is in Revit architecture. So let's go ahead and uh, change some of these things. The project name, kind of small, it's really not going to fill up that space. And you'll notice that when you when you finally put projects together, that you're going to have to come back here, probably to your your sheet template, and make modifications to it. Perhaps your project name is going to be too long; it's going to be two lines. It might interfere with the sheet name, so you have to move the sheet name down. So you keep all these things in mind as you're putting together your projects. That uh, you want to make sure that everything's readable, that you don't have text stacked up on each other, and that you. Um, you know, know that you can make modifications to this later. And if you have to, rename the family to a different name if you want to keep the original file format that we're creating now intact. So, enough said. If we go to the project name, we're going to make that a quarter of an inch. So we have label one eighth of an inch Arial, and see if we can find quarter inch for label, and it doesn't look like we have it. So let's go ahead and create it. Go to edit type, and uh, go to duplicate. So, backspace a little bit, change that from 8 to 4. Now that we have that done, let's go in here. We're not going to make that bold. Ooh, it was tempting, though. But text size, instead of 1 uh, eighth of an inch, we're going to make that a quarter of an inch. And then enter, and then OK. So, project names, kind of big. But if we have to make that smaller later, we'll do that. But I think quarter of an inch will, will fit pretty well, pretty good. Now let's do this, that project name, let's go ahead and move that. And don't forget, if you use the arrow keys, that's a really good way to move text around. It does have very small increments, uh, usually predictable in increments, like an eighth of an inch or a sixteenth of an inch increment as you do it. I think you might find that uh, that'll work out pretty good. Project title, we're also going to make that uh, eighth of an inch. Uh, pardon me, quarter of an inch. We're going to move project title up a little bit too. And the Autodesk label, uh, logo. Let's just get rid of that. We don't need that. We don't want that. You know, when somebody else's work on this and taking credit for this when he shouldn't. Design by. That's going to be, uh, we're going to make that three, three seconds of an inch. So let's go and click on that instead of a sixteenth of an inch. We're going to create one for three thirty seconds of an inch. So just like we did before, go to edit type, go to duplicate. Let's back up a little bit there. 32. Instead of one, we're going to make that three, three thirds, sec three. 30 seconds of an edge aerial. Text size, 3 divided by 32. Apply and go to OK. Now you notice that the text a lot, is a lot bigger. Let's do the same thing with the label down here too. And we'll probably have to create one for that. I don't see 330 seconds of an inch, so edit type. Yep. You got the idea by now. It looks the same as text, but it is different from text. So 330 seconds of an inch uh, aerial, again the difference between labels and text is that labels are parametric and it's going to go somewhere in your project or in your sheet or some other information you're given that you're putting into your Revit project is going to seek that information out. So go to OK. Oh, I don't think I edited the size there. Let's see what we did wrong. Text size, 3 divided by 32. Good. All right, let's move this up. Arrow keys. DSG, we'll move that up to. When you put in uh, whoever it's designed by, typically it's by initials to try to keep the text uh, volume small on a drawing. You know, when you put in somebody's name, so typically everybody's got three letter identification for who, uh, you know, for who drew it, who's checking it, and who eventually is going to approve your drawings. So you want to make sure you put that in there. Now let's do this. We're going to start moving some lines around here. So this line is uh, 140 second, 256 of an inch. Wow, that's that's really precise. We're actually just going to make that, um, I believe it's 3 sixteenths of an inch, or 3 eighths of an inch. So we're going to make that 3 eighths, and we're going to change that, and that's going to move that line up. And we're going to do that with all these other boxes. So when you do this, when you move your lines around, you want to make sure that you do this for all your boxes. So the text size, I'm not going to go through in each one of these and change these, but you want to make sure your text sizes and your label sizes are 3 30 seconds of an inch here, and that you move your lines around in order to reflect that. So project title, we probably want to keep that there. You can take this line and maybe copy it with the control key and move that down. 
maybe move this into place over here click back in that line take that text 3 divided by 8 that puts that there well, let's do this let's trim this line out I do like where that line is in regard to project title so let's go ahead and trim that line out I think you know how to do that if you go to the split line option you can split it here perhaps it creates two different lines and you can delete that line and bring this line back if you like if you want to make that line at a very specific distance from one point or another you're welcome to do that too right now it's some weird number 125 128 of an inch so how about I don't know 7 eighths of an inch would probably be a little bit more specific a little bit e easier to read and that works out okay so I think you know what to do is take this text over here and make that 3 30 seconds of an inch that's a label over here 3 30 seconds of an inch move your lines around so that they're each 3 eighths of an inch and you should be in pretty good shape emulate what's on the website and we're going to populate the rest of this and when we come back I'm going to show you how to put in a logo that we're going to create in AutoCAD